Thank you for joining me tonight in prayer. Tonight our prayer is going to be based on um, some words from Psalm 85. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God, of our salvation. And put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For you will speak peace to your people, to your faithful, to those who turn to you in their hearts. Surely your salvation is at hand for those who fear you that your glory may dwell on our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before you and will make a path for your steps. You will speak peace to your people. I invite you to close your eyes and let those words wash through you. You will speak peace to your people. 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 There are so many places where there is conflict around the world. Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Somalia, Iran. We pray for the Tigray region of Ethiopia, where month-long fighting has led to death, displacement, and a lack of supplies for basic needs. You will speak peace to your people. Here in the United States, we are still so conflicted about the election in our government. Family members have stopped speaking. Friends have given up on each other. Show us a way through to the other side. May hearts and minds be opened. You will speak peace to your people. There are so many people grieving right now, grieving the loss of their family members, grieving the loss of their jobs, grieving the loss of their homes. Surround those grieving with your peace. You will speak peace to your people. There are so many people anxious and lonely, so many people feeling lost and fearful. May your love and peace enfold them. You will speak peace to your people. On our hearts and minds today are those who are in a car accident, are those undergoing medical procedures, are those facing an illness. Surround them with your healing presence. You will speak peace to your people. You will speak peace to your people. Amen. <laughs>